This is Evil D Extreme. Some of the guys on the site, which is C2G Nation, are wanting me to show them how to set up X-Links KAI. What that is is a system link over the global network. Instead of you know system link in your house with two Xbox, you can do it over the internet. Um, I'm gonna do a video tutorial. I just recently formatted my computer, so I figured you guys can follow along with me. I've never done one of these, so just bear with me. First, we're going to talk about it. Um, the best way to set this up, in my opinion, is to have a desktop and then landline into your router, and then have an Xbox landline into the router. You can also use a laptop wirelessly into the router, and then have the Xbox landline into the port on the laptop. But I've just never had much luck with that one, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Um, I'm going to set this up in three different videos. Um, the first video is going to be to show you how to set up a static IP address. Um, the reason we need this is every time on a dynamic IP address, every time you restart your computer, it's going to assign you a new IP address. And it just gives a lot of issues with X-Links. Uh, static, it means your IP address will stay the same all the time. Uh, the first thing you need to do, we need to get some information. So hit your start button go to all programs accessories and then right here command prompts once you've got this open you might want to get you a piece of paper and pencil to write this stuff down you want to type in IP config forward slash all and then just press enter okay I'm gonna maximize this so y'all can see it's gonna have a lot of information in it just look for a local area connection you may have more than one like you see here local area connection 2 but it really doesn't have much stuff in it uh, here's local area connection and it's got all my information in it what you want to look for is IPv4 address that's your IP address right here it is um, just write that down write IP address and then write these numbers down right here okay next thing you need to look for will be your default gateway it'll be similar to the number you just wrote down except the last number will be different once you've got that written down just exit out of it okay depending on what operating system you're on you need to go on your taskbar and where it shows if you've got a connection or not right click on it open network and sharing center okay if you're on Windows 7 it'll say change adapter settings right here on Windows Vista I think you're looking for um, manage adapter settings or adapter connections or something to that extent once you get into this um, you're gonna see a couple of your connections you may have a wireless connection as well but just look for the one that's active as you can see local area connection is active you wanna right click on it and click properties okay once you've got that opened up, you're going to see two tabs, network, networking, and sharing. First, go to sharing, and you're going to see internet connection sharing. You're going to see two options. Okay, you want to click on allow other networks users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Make sure you got to check on that. The one below, make sure it does not have a check on it. This allows people to control or disable your shared internet connection, and you don't want that okay once you've done that go back to the networking tab go down look for internet protocol version 4 remember that IPv4 which was your IP address you wrote down highlight that click properties okay I've already set up mine I'm gonna click up here and this is what you should see on yours okay um, obtain an IP address automatically we don't want that we want to use the following IP address click that right here's your IP address use the one you wrote down okay once you've done that the next one is subnet mask you should just be able to click on it and it automatically fill in for you but if it doesn't it's 255 255 2550 okay and then the next one's default gateway the one you wrote down before Okay, once you've got that, you need to go to Preferred DNS Server. 
Now that's going to be the same number as your default gateway right here. Once you've got that, just press OK. All right, close that. Now you may, you know, lose your connection, which I didn't. As long as you typed it in the same, you should be okay. But if you do lose your connection, um, you can unplug the Ethernet cord on the back of your computer or just restart your computer. Okay, now you have a static IP address. So this is going to end the first video. Um, watch the second video on how to install and configure X-Links KAI.